Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. A very quiet market today. The S&Ps are down 10 and 3 quarter points as I'm doing this, down 0.47%, not really material. You can see we're trading in a tight range. The big question on everybody's mind, of course, is that is this squeeze going to trigger and go to the long side or is there a surprise in store? Of course, the markets are a little jittery lack of conviction going into Friday, which is the inauguration. And on Thursday, we got the ECB. So I'm expecting a little chop early in the week. I do like the idea on FXE of buying a straddle on Wednesday. Uh, the idea here with a straddle is I would expect, especially if there was a gap up after ECB, is that we sell the calls and then wait for a move down to sell the puts, okay? And that could be a lot of fun. And the nice thing about FXE is that the implied volatility actually doesn't get too crazy. So you're not so much in danger of, of, of an IV implosion and you really get to participate in the movement, okay? Um, which is which is pretty good that way. And then, of course, the big thing that we'll be watching for tomorrow on Wednesday is Netflix. Now, Netflix is one of the, the first big kind of name stocks, the ones that everybody's following, everybody's paying attention to, to release earnings, and that's going to be Wednesday after the close. Today they made a new all-time high. There's a little bit of profit taking here, but I am looking for the stock to kind of grind higher into earnings and be very, very volatile afterwards. And we'll be setting up uh, the specific trades in the trading room tomorrow afternoon. Uh, at the close, I'll be in there. But I do like the idea of a bullish play on this, but a type of play that's structured that if it does go down, we can actually adjust and benefit from that move as well, which should be a lot of fun. And then from there, um, I continue to like uh, oil here. Uh, oil here is kind of grinding along with a squeeze. You got a lot of the oil stocks very, very strong today and looking to buy those on pullbacks. Okay, so what I want to do now is show you guys and gals a, a couple of setups here. And these are uh, some of the new indicators that have come out. We just kind of covered them on the Saturday class. And I'll show you some setups that are coming up with these right now. So this is Costco. You got a daily squeeze, a little bit of power, not much. What I'm looking for here is after it triggers, do we get some power? Because when you get some power, then you get a big move. Uh, and if we look at this, this is kind of the correlation of Costco in relation to the rest of the market. This is telling me to only expect a move that is within the expected range. Okay, so that's great. All we're doing is like, okay, great. Let's just look for a 1272 extension. That works great. So because of the fact we're only, quote unquote, expecting an expected move, in addition to buying calls, uh, we also did a put credit spread as well as a call debit spread to minimize the theta decay. Now you can see here we still got a little bit of negative theta, so technically I could have sold, I think, up to 15 put credit spreads to kind of block that out. Uh, but the idea here is that, you know what, hey, we're looking for a couple of dollar move within the expected range, and this is a solid way to take advantage of that. Conversely, we have uh, the st uh, stock symbol shop, i.e. Shopify, this one we have the correlation as it relates to everything else well above uh, by a long shot, okay, we've got a squeeze with power on the weekly chart and if you look here on the daily chart, if you look at the green line here, it's just about to pop up to again be the strongest on the daily chart, we have a one dot squeeze with power, okay, so what I'm looking for on something like this is a greater than expected move, a GTEM. And when you get a GTEM, fun things can happen. So in this case, uh, because it's a weekly squeeze, we went out 94 days, all right? Because remember, weekly squeeze could last eight to 10 bars, and that's eight to 10 weeks, so that's 55 to 70 days. So when in doubt, go a little bit longer and bought some of the $45 calls, which are in the money, okay? And I went in the money with this because of the high implied volatility, but we could do a couple different things with this. We could also obviously turn it into a, di a diagonal shorter term, but because we have the potential for a GTEM, a greater than expected move, we could also do this. We could actually come up and buy some of these cheaper options, the $60 calls, that have 94 days out in case this stock just goes nuts, okay? And so let's let's actually just buy that real quick. I'm gonna place an order, buy a single, 
Uh, midpoint is 145. Let me see if I can at least get that midpoint. And that order is working. So I'll keep working that order there and see if I get filled. Uh, but the main point with this is that the part of the reason for this tool is that when you are like this and you are coming up like this, the odds of a greater than expected move increase substantially and you can do a lot of fun stuff with that. So if you're interested in these indicators and how to use them, you can go to simplertrading.com forward slash spy. If you get this basic package, this includes the indicator, the correlation tool that tells you is this going to be a potential for a greater than expected move or an expected move, okay, and also lines up with the other correlations. And this actually includes the recording of the Saturday class, which happened on the 14th, of exactly how to use it plus the other indicators, okay? Now, if you're still interested and in looking at this going like, oh, wow, I didn't know that those indicators were that awesome. Uh, we're still going to be doing live trading. We're finished up live trading today for the 17th, but we've still got the 19th and the 20th. And the best thing about this package is it actually includes all three indicators. You got the correlation slash greater than expected tool, plus you've got the uh, power behind the squeeze, plus you have the credit sniper buy and sell, which helps you to exit the trades. Okay, so some really great stuff. And again, with this, you can actually get the recording of the Saturday class, the recording of our live trading from today, which has been phenomenal. And um, plus you could join us for the live on the 19th and 20th. Now, by the way, if you're working full time and you're like, this looks awesome, but I can't do this live, uh, you, we're actually texting out the trades to the class participants. So they're able, they've been able to participate from work and that's been great. And then last but not least, this is good until the end of this week. This is gonna go to 49.97. Uh, this is our live event in Austin, June 12th and 13th. It's $29.97. This includes this class, which of course includes this class. So that's a cool way uh, to kind of come in and, and, and go, uh, uh, go in uh, all in to kind of come in and learn these strategies and take your trading up to the next level. I mean, it's been, a, it's been a fun class. All right, hope it helps. You guys have a great night and we'll see you at the next update.